And what up, what up, my people? And once again, it is your boy, Mr. Ignorant, a disciple of Camp Nation. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you may be watching this. I hope everybody's in good spirits, whatever's going on in your life. But before I get into the meat of five things that's on my mind and what's going on, as of late, in the Call of Duty community and what I think about it, I'm gonna do a shout out to one YouTuber that I believe is whipping ass and taking names. This guy's name is Opez Kid. Now Opez Kid kind of reminds me of myself. He's unapologetic, he tells it like it is. He does vlogs, he does Halo gameplay, he does Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, Overwatch, GTA. He's doing his thing. Shout out to you, my boy. Keep doing you. Like his style, like his technique. Check him out, and when you check him out, let him know. And Mr. Ignis sent you, it's all good. He real active on my channel. I just thought I'd give him a shout out for my second video of the day. By the way, if you haven't seen my retro video upload for the day I showcased Double Dragon in 1987 be sure to check that out you never know where you're going in the video game future unless you check out the past every now and again the little side note now and let us get into the five things that's on my mind in the Call of Duty community as of late Coming in at number five, they got rid of my terminal 24-7 playlist. I knew this would happen, so I got the most of it, as y'all could tell. I did a whole lot of terminal TDM. It is what it is, boosting the KD. I know the spawns pretty good. Now, I hardly ever go flawless in these TDM on terminal, but it best definitely is my favorite map, and I always do pretty damn good on this map that's why I played it so much and I knew that all good things come to an end just like we cried and moaned for Nuketown 24-7 we never got it so I think you know might as well take advantage of the terminal 24-7 while I had a chance and this is one of my favorite game plays of the week because I was laying down Peter Pan's left and right go ahead and boost jump pretend like it's halo i'm gonna lay that ass down i get a clear shot on you so this is my peter pan killing gameplay love it to death but then getting rid of my terminal 24 7 that was number five coming in at number four is that hailstorm weapon that they give us for customer loyalty i like that i use it in zombies it's one of the first weapons you see definitely pick it up you know what i mean Level it up because it's real easy to level up. It's one of the first cool ass weapons to use in zombies. That was number four. Coming in at number three is it's double weapons XP. So make sure you know, I'll try to get as much of that is as possible. Because you never know when they might switch up and throw us a bone to give us some double XP. Even though it's not regular XP, weapons XP if you want to, you know, get your camos and things of that nature. Different insignias called tags. You know, any of those little gun earrings they got, or the, you know, the DOA tag. I like those too. So, t definitely take advantage of the double weapons XP because you know we got them Christmas noobs coming up and we're going to be wrecking the shit out of them when that time is coming. And coming in at number one. Number one is. Hey, where's my theater mode and where are the leaderboards? They're nowhere to be found. That was my five. Now let me throw this in as a bonus. Check this out. Why don't they throw double XP in these damn supply drops? Just an idea. It's your boy, Mr. Igna, the disciple of Campanation, baby, and I am out. <laughs> 